Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my recipe for cream puff dessert. Cream puff dessert is similar to the cream puff pastries that you can make that are filled with the cream filling. This is just an easier way of making it. You make it in a jelly roll pan, a 10 by 15 pan. But today I'm going to be making it in a larger pan than a 10 by 15 just because I'm serving it to a crowd. And I'm going to show you how I make this. I'm going to be giving you the measurements to make it in a 10 by 15 but remember that I'm doubling it so everything will be doubled. This recipe is something that my mom made when I was younger and now I make it for my family and we all really like it. I don't make it very often but since it's a holiday I'm going to be making it for a crowd and bringing it to Thanksgiving for the dessert. So I'm going to show you how you make that and um, yeah, let's get going. So in your saucepan you're going to want to um, melt a, one stick of butter. So I got two sticks of butter just because I'm doubling it. Turn the heat on. Alright, and then to this I'm going to add one cup of water. We're going to just let these melt. You're actually going to let this melt and bring it up to a boil. So one stick of butter, one cup of water. Alright, the butter is melted and the water is starting to boil. And at this time I'm going to add flour. I'm going to leave the heat on kind of medium and I'm going to add flour and you're going to need one cup of flour. Be careful when you're adding this, it will want to foam up a little. Then you're going to stir this until it forms a ball. And I like to usually whisk this, is what I like to do is whisk it. Starts to get really thick. I'm not sure if you can see that. And it starts to just kind of form a ball. Okay, so now that it's starting to form a ball, you can shut the heat off. Okay, that looks good. So it's nice and um, formed like that. Now at this point, we've got the heat off and we're going to add eggs. Now you're going to need four eggs for this and you're going to add them one at a time, beating in between. Do this with all four eggs. So this is what it looks like after you add all the eggs. Oops. Now I'm going to um, place it on the jelly roll pan that I've already um, greased. And I'm going to spread it in an even layer. Okay, this is what it looks like when it's all ready to go in the oven. Now you're going to put this in a preheated 400 degree oven for about 25 minutes. Here it is, just out of the oven. Now we're going to let this cool completely and I'm going to work at making the, the filling. Now I'm going to make the filling for the cream puff dessert and for that you're going to need um, 8 ounces of cream cheese. And for this I'm going to use my mixer. The cream cheese is um, softened so I had it out of the refrigerator for a few hours so it's easier to work with. Now 
Now we're just going to mix this up a little bit. To the cream cheese, I'm going to add three cups of milk and we're going to slowly add the milk because you don't want the cream cheese to get lumpy. So you have to add it slowly. And I have six cups of milk here. And I'm just going to slowly add it at first. sure that there's no lumps you can just gradually add the rest of it. Okay now that the cream cheese and the milk are all mixed up together and there's very little lumps if any um, it's time to add the pudding. Now I'm going to be adding just an instant vanilla pudding and you need three boxes of this. Three of the Three ounce, three, these are 3.4 ounces. So the smaller boxes, you need three, um, three of these. I'm just going to gradually add each one. I'm mixing it while I do this. tell how thick it's gotten when you add the pudding. Got it mixed up really good. Okay, now we're going to take this over to the pastry. Now we are just going to um, pour this over the puff, the pastry part. And then we're just going to evenly spread it over the whole puff everywhere. Be sure that your puff pastry part is completely cooled before adding the um, pudding mixture. Now to this, we add a layer of Cool Whip to the top. So we just make sure that it's kind of evenly distributed through the whole thing. Now the recipe calls for 12 ounces of, whip, of Cool Whip or whipped topping. Um, I've always done 8 ounces and that seems to work just fine. This is what it looks like right now. The last ingredient that we're going to be putting on is some um, chocolate syrup. I'm just using a chocolate syrup and I'm just going to drizzle it over the top of all of this. You can also use like a chocolate bark or candy bar shavings, anything like that. That's good too. I've done that before. like that. And then for just like a decoration, just take a toothpick or something and you can make swirls. And it's up to you how much chocolate you want to add. There's really no rhyme or reason. If you like more chocolate, you can add more. If you don't like it, you can probably just leave it off. 
So here is the end product. Um, it's super simple to make. You're going to want to keep this in the refrigerator until it's ready to serve. Thank you so much for watching everyone. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. We'd love to hear from you. So if you make this kind of recipe or something similar to it, let me know in the comments below. Thank you all for watching once again, and I hope you're having a very blessed day. Take care, everyone.